Hi, hello, and welcome to the third and final organizing episode of The Crafting Coach. My name is Megan Rosendahl, I am The Crafty Coach, and this week we're going to take an often thrown away item and turn it into something to organize clutter. In this series so far we've organized keys, glasses, and now our desks. And you won't believe what we're going to use. This week we're going to create this awesome file holder out of empty cereal boxes. The cute design is pretty straightforward, but you can certainly customize it any number of ways. So here's what we'll need for this week's project. Three empty cereal boxes, duct tape, a box cutter or scissors, and a marker. You'll also want scrapbook paper, Mod Podge, and a paintbrush. I'm using scrapbook paper for this simply because I have a ridiculous amount of it, but you can bypass the paper and just use decorative duct tape to make your entire holder. But I like the amount of options that the scrapbook paper provides. Begin by lining up your boxes and marking an angle with a straight edge. If you don't have a ruler, just use the top of one of the boxes. Mark all your edges, then use your box cutter or scissors to cut them down to the right size. Once you have the correct sizes, line them all up and secure them together with a bit of duct tape along the bottom and across the middle where the boxes meet. Next, I'm going to choose the scrapbook paper I need and measure them out. Use the boxes as a guide for cutting the paper, then apply them straight to the boxes using a thin layer of Mod Podge. Cover all four sides plus the back side of each slot. I also covered the sides of the slots. I like to measure big and then trim as needed to be sure I have complete coverage. Be creative with your paper designs. Once your entire box is covered, apply a final layer of Mod Podge over the entire surface as a protective layer. This doesn't need to be thick, but be sure to cover every inch that has paper on it. We don't want the paper peeling after a couple of uses. And we're done! This is the perfect way to file papers or anything else you might have. Make one for home and one for the office. Your coworkers will be so envious of this custom made piece. And all it cost me was the boxes of cereal, which, let's see, three boxes should last us about a week. It takes a bit of time to get your pieces of paper cut properly, but the end result is so stinking cute. Get your friends together and make a bunch. You can't have too many of these. I've also seen similar organizers made out of aluminum cans. Empty out your vegetables, cover them in scrapbook paper, glue them together, and you've got another distinct holder for all of your office supplies. It's pretty simple. Well, that's all that I have for you this week. I will be back next Friday morning at 11 a.m. with a brand new series of kids crafts on the crafting coach. We'll tear them all apart, we'll break them down, I'll tell you what to do, I'll tell you what not to do, and hopefully we'll have just a little bit of fun along the way. Be sure to follow my crafting coach board on Pinterest. You can find me under Megan Rosendahl. And also be sure to follow the Aberdeen American News online and on Facebook, where every single crafting coach video is available for you. On the Aberdeen American News homepage, just just go to the 605 Life tab and scroll down to The Crafting Coach. You can also follow The Crafting Coach on Facebook and you can tweet me at crafting underscore coach. If you have any project ideas that you want me to try, any tips, tricks, or suggestions from previous projects, or photos of any completed projects, please email me at mrosendahl at aberdeennews.com. We'll see all of you again in one week. Bye!